Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out a Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders for this week, build 23511. Now there's quite a lot going on in the Dev Channel for this week, um, once again, so just to dive straight in. So what's new in build 23511? Well, the first is there are now more improvements for Windows Spotlight, which Microsoft has been working on where they are now rolling out a single Windows Spotlight experience that includes previewing images at full screen. So if you click on one of those images, you'll be able to preview that in full screen. You can also learn more about each image and a minimized experience. Microsoft carries on to say to open the Windows Spotlight experience, you just right click on the Spotlight icon on the desktop. You can then also double click on the icon to directly launch a Bing landing page for more info on each image. So more improvements now for Windows Spotlight. Now, just to have a look at some changes and improvements. And the next um, is if a camera streaming issue is detected, such as a camera failing to start or a closed camera shutter, a pop-up dialog will appear with the recommendation to launch the automated Get Help troubleshooter to resolve the issue, um, as we can see from the screenshot provided. Now, moving on to the next, and this was actually a hidden feature I posted on a couple of days ago, and is now, once again, like I always say, Hidden features sometimes can make their way into official testing, and this is what has happened with this feature. Now, Microsoft says for people logged into an Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise Editions with an AAD account, you will now see a richer preview when hovering over files such as Word documents under Recommended on the Start menu. uh, For this initial release, Microsoft says thumbnails will not be available for all files, and a later update will enable the experience for more files and for MSA users. They carry on to say, over and above that, when right-clicking on cloud file recommendations, there is now an option to quickly share these files. So um, this was a feature, as mentioned, which was hidden and now is officially, to some degree or the other, starting to be tested now uh, in the dev channel for this week. Now, this next one, I would consider to be quite an important um, new feature and new change, where Microsoft says now notifications will show as a bell Uh, in the system tray and when new notifications come through the bell will be colorized as we can see from the screenshot provided based on your system accent color when there are no notifications as we can see on the right hand side and the clock is visible the bell will be empty notification counts are no longer shown so there's a couple of important changes rolling out there the first one with notifications the bell will show your accent color when there are no notifications um, the, the, and the clock is visible, the bell will be empty, and also there are no notification counts that are longer shown. So a couple of three important changes there rolling out for notifications this week for the Deaf channel. Then another improvement and change is Microsoft say they have fixed the bugs that were causing some crashes that resulted in turning off suggestions in snap layouts and are beginning to roll this out again this week and then suggestions in snap layouts help you instantly snap multiple app windows together as many of you may know and when when hovering over the minimize or maximize button on an app uh, to launch the layout box you will see and you will see app icons displayed in various layouts as we can see here at the bottom uh, in the screenshot provided highlighted in red you will see app icons displayed in various layout options to help recommend the best layout option that works best. Now, just to do a couple of quick mentions for the purpose of today's video, um, Windows Copilot, Microsoft says for this week, insiders in the dev channel will notice that the Windows Copilot, which brings centralized AI assistance to the desktop, which is in preview, is no longer available in this build, but don't be worried, don't be concerned. This is just a temporary issue and Microsoft says that it will return in up and coming builds and another quick mention um, and this is also another example of a hidden feature that is now starting to be officially tested under all apps in the start menu windows 11 system components will now show a system label just making it more easier to identify so as an example in the stable version uh, if we head over to system apps like get help and get started what's happening now in the dev channel is under those apps you should see a system label which will just make them a lot easier to identify as system apps and components, which I think is a nice move. And then the final quick mention, um, they've also made some changes which 
should noticeably Im help improve the performance of the calculating phase when sending a large number of files at once in File Explorer to the re to the recycle bin. So that's a bit of a performance increase uh, when sending files to the recycle bin. And if we just quickly head back to the release notes, um, there are a couple of fixes that have rolled out. We get three fixes for the File Explorer. Uh, notifications gets two fixes. The Taskbar and System Tray gets another two fixes. A task View and Desktops gets one fix. Search on the Taskbar gets a fix. And Windows Inc. gets a fix. And then we do get the known issues, which obviously uh, Microsoft has to work on because this is still early days. And because um, we are in the dev channel, there, there will be a couple of known issues um, due to that fact. So that's more or less what's new for this week. Uh, in the latest dev channel build, which started rolling out on the 27th, 27th of July, build 23511. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.